The race for president. Donald Trump on Jimmy Kimmel last night seems to be kicking off a new phase of his campaign, a little more mellow, calling for unity in the Republican Party. ABC's is John Call here with all the latest. And John, a little more statesman from Trump now. Yeah, George, we'll see how long it lasts, but Donald Trump acknowledged he's been, quote, a little bit divisive, and he suggested he's now ready to go a little easier on his Republican rivals. Overnight on Jimmy Kimmel Live, Donald Trump touted his latest debate performance, but he insisted he pulled his punches. Did he decide you were going to no, be nice? You know what, really, I, I would like to see the Republican Party come together, and I've been a little bit divisive in the sense that I've been hitting people pretty hard. A little bit, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Do you think Jeb Bush is scared of you or just scared in general? I think he's scared. <laughs> But Kimmel pressed Trump on his recent call to ban all Muslims from entering the United States. But isn't it un-American and wrong to discriminate against people based on their religion? But Jimmy, the problem... I, I mean, I'm for it, but look. We have people coming into our country that are looking to do tremendous harm. But Trump played along when Kimmel gave him the Dr. Seuss treatment. Now, here are some frogs I do not like at all. We must kick these frogs out and then build a wall. <laughs> there are two kinds of people. Which one will you be? A loser like them, would you like to finish? Or a winner? Like me. Please welcome the next president of the United States. For his trip to late night, Trump rallied his diehard supporters in Arizona. We have the biggest crowds by far. Because there's a movement going on, folks. This isn't just like, let's go and have a good time. Somebody said, oh, Trump's a great entertainer. That's a lot of With his commanding lead in the polls, the Republican frontrunner is flying high. And ABC News got an exclusive ride aboard Trump Force One. While he's flying high now, Trump says if he wins the White House, he may just leave his private plane in the hangar. There's something very special about Air Force One, let's face it. I mean, it's a, uh, it represents something very, very special, like the White House represents something. Trump is clearly enjoying his position as the frontrunner among Republicans, but it's the Democratic frontrunner he may need to be worried about. In most public polls, Hillary Clinton beats Donald Trump in a head-to-head -head matchup and actually does better against Trump than any of the other Republican candidates. Mrs. Clinton, of course, squares off against her Democratic opponents, Bernie Sanders and Martin O'Malley, on Saturday, right here on ABC in the next Democratic debate. George. Right, we'll be up in New Hampshire for that. David Muir and Martha Raddatz moderates Saturday night at 8 o'clock.